Hi, I'm Morgan Reed, President of ACT, and I'm excited to join you, virtually of course, to celebrate the amazing work you've done as part of the Congressional App Challenge and its House of Code competition. Obviously, it would be much better if we could be in person to check out your amazing innovations, but thanks to technology, like the stuff that our members create, and hopefully someday you will as well, we can at least be together in this virtual space. Our members include everyone from app developers to technologists to security experts, and they live all over the United States, well, the world really, and touch every facet of the app economy. And speaking of our members, who better to talk about the amazing innovations that you've all done than the people who helped create the app economy as we know it today. Hi everybody, my name is Katie Miller. I am based in South Carolina, in Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm the program director for this amazing program called SC Code. And the SC Codes is a nonprofit that is committed to providing free coding education for anyone in the state of South Carolina. Hello everyone, I am Kiana Stewart. I'm the CEO and Principal Consultant of Global Force Tech Consulting, which is a software development and technology consulting company. I'm also the president of Global Force for Girls, which is a 501c3 nonprofit that works with young girls and women um, to teach them, um, to empower them, to teach them, educate them um, about the STEM workforce development. I'm uh, Greg Haygood, obviously here in Atlanta. I've got a, uh, a so, small development shop called Southern DNA that I co-founded uh, about four years ago now. And we help small and medium businesses in Atlanta try to get more out of technology. So whether it's you know, giving them a website, giving them an app, taking paper processes and making them digital and more efficient, that's kind of what we uh, focus on. My name is Chris Sims. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Sagayo Studios. We're located in Birmingham, Alabama. We do Similar to what Greg does, we do custom software development, but we also do agile coaching and training. And just like you, they hit the ground running. You know, don't be afraid to take risks when you're younger. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it and do the hard thing. Because we know that you and our members are not just app developers, you're creative problem solvers who are part of the solution. Think about what problems you can solve. I didn't go out and solve my own problems. I lucked into um, my first job was with a marketing agency and we were solving other people's problems. They would come to us and say, I don't know how to do X. You know, I'm trying to do this. I'm r running into problems. Um, and I thrived on solving those problems. So I think the important part um, when you're involved in a technological environment is to really see yourself as a part of that process, right? So a lot of times we think of ourselves as an extension of it, but not as um, a component of it. You know, you spend hours and hours and hours fighting and struggling with the code, trying to get it to do what it wants. And then you have that moment when it comes through and it clicks and you get it and it works and you, you solve this really big, hard problem. And developers, as well as folks from the App Association, know what it takes to create technology from the technical stuff. Also, like if you have no idea even where to start from a coding language perspective, um, if you have a phone um, and you really like the way that your phone works, um, figure out like, is it an iPhone? Is it an Android phone? Something like that. And then go check out the platform. So Google iOS development and see what kind of services they offer um, because a lot of times they offer their own coding language, um, something that's like pretty simple and scalable for that platform. And it kind of gives you a cool starting place, right? So you can kind of just create something initially and then figure out where you want to go from there. Um, JavaScript is is a, a language. Um, it's a whole ecosystem as well. That That's the one that's got all the interest and all the buzz these days. Just learn one. The reality behind programming languages is once you learn one and you learn how the constructs work, the next one is easier and the next one's easier. To sound business advice. Don't try to build the Facebook of apps from day one. Build something that enables, you know, some friends to talk to each other and then start layering on to it. To some pretty good instincts. Um, I got started in tech uh, in high school when I broke my parents' computer, had to figure out how to fix it. Got into computers from there at college. Um, my the computer lab that I worked in was doing a lot of work on this new thing called the World Wide Web. And I fell in love with it and decided that was what my career was going to be all about. And the soft skills. I've heard, had many of, of these employers say, if they don't know my our specific tech stack, A-OK. -okay. But I want to make sure that they are going to work well with, um, you know, people who are 
from all kinds of different backgrounds who may be technical, who may be not technical. Are they going to show up on time? Just those basic things are um, extremely important. And if you don't have those with the technical skills, it won't, it will only get you so far. So I think being an active listener, um, in addition to that, being a great communicator, being able to, you know, take information and, and synthesize it and analyze it and then process that and present it back out, you know, to your clients or to whomever you're speaking with about their technology needs. Um, I would say those two are definitely skills that, you know, are necessary being in, in this space and environment. To the practical, kind and inclusive. Team building, working with each other, um, sharing ideas, innovating together, all of those are, are attributes that I think help to enhance technology and help to enhance us as individuals um, as we're learning and, and growing and developing in, in, in technology as well. So to Scrum is a process to develop, to work and to manage projects that focuses on humans first, values first, and learning how to be really, really efficient and get better over time. So this process of if you're not better today than you were yesterday and tomorrow than you are today, then you're going to fall behind. But pushing yourself with focusing on that human in the center. Our members show up because we know it's everyone's responsibility to create a stronger, more diverse community of developers. So we know that there are definitely diversity issues within the tech industry. Um, and so what we're doing is working with um, black and brown young women uh, and girls to really educate them, to empower them and to train them to be able to not only have those really solid technical skills, but to also develop um, a sense of, of um, belonging and understanding about how to use those skills and talents once they're actually in a, a STEM career, right? As a mentor in residence and instructor um, in the Office of Innovation and Entrepreneurship at GW, um, I have a lot of opportunity to interface with um, some really bright, amazing, smart, talented young women who, when they saw me, would say, you know, we don't see ourselves, right? We don't see ourselves reflected. We're in offices and classrooms and engaging with predominantly men. Um, and so we're just excited to have you to hear. I literally last, the last month I worked with someone on every continent except Antarctica. Um, so global awareness. So no longer is it okay to be in a small town and not understand what it's like to work with someone in China or with India and understanding the cultural differences that come in there because that's a very normal part of where the world is going to and I think it's only going to get more. As to the old stereotypes about coders, we don't subscribe to those. No longer do we have programmers are hidden in the basement and there are the you know, the trolls that you, you, everyone's afraid to go down to the basement. That's, that's not the way it is anymore. Uh, it's very much a group communal effort and I love, I love that aspect of it. But we couldn't talk about all the good without talking about what threatens our industry the most. We fully believe that one of the, the largest risks to the future of the American economy is, is nothing other than our inability to build great tech talent. Thankfully, we have programs like the Congressional App Challenge and students like you who can continue to drive innovation and change our industry. Thank you to all the sponsors, friends, and participants who made this year's event possible and made it as amazing as it is. Without you, we wouldn't have the best thing about our industry, our members, the developers, and you. One of the many cool things about being in the tech space is just all the wonderful people you get to meet and, and around the world, literally around the world, getting to meet just amazing people and work with them and help them. On behalf of ACT and our members, Thank you.